until we've sorted out the puzzle of what's yours and what's mine. My name is Sarah Fasciola. We're here at the Arlene's Grocery with Nick Camillo. Hi, I'm Nick Camillo. There will be nights and there will be days that I'll be missing your embrace, but I can't let those feelings get into my heart. Why don't you tell them a little about yourself and then get started and everything? So, I mean, I've been playing music for about 10 years or so. Um, I've been in a couple different bands and different genres, ranging from uh, similar stuff to this to uh, like crazy progressive metal kind of stuff. Over the past couple of years, I've been recording just songs on my own in my apartment. And, uh, a couple months ago, I decided to just take a bunch of them, put them together in an album, and uh, released it a month ago. And uh, things have been going pretty well since then. It's cause we gave it up this try. So I also read that uh, you are part of A Little Bit Weird, mm -hmm. record, is that the record, the record label? Mm -hmm. so, so what's that all about? So A Little Bit Weird, uh, I started it a couple years ago, um, kind of as an experiment. It was just, uh, I just wanted to start a business of some sort and it started off kind of as an apparel company. We, did, we made t-shirts and hoodies and stuff and then sort of evolved beyond that, it sort of turned into a music and art one. And I did that for a couple years. It was we were getting about thirty thousand or so views a month for a while. When I decided to put out this uh, this CD, I decided that I was going to turn it into a record label so that eventually we could take on some more artists. Hopefully, pretty soon we'll be adding some more. Tell us a little about your first album. It's out. Everyone, go get it. Right. So, oh my God. I, I wasn't really going for a certain sound. I was just recording songs that um, that I that had written, and a lot of them started off as just I recording it so I wouldn't forget it, so I could come back to it, and then eventually I would say, "Oh, well, that was a pretty good take." And so, f for me, uh, the extra like recording the music and producing it is just as much fun as playing the shows. And so, I'll sit down and just uh, make some make songs up on the spot. Like coming here to New York City and performing here, like how does it feel? You know, just, I love New York City. I, I grew up in Connecticut and I came here a lot growing up. We've been we played here every weekend now for the past couple weekends, and um, I played I played in New York a lot, but this is probably actually my, my favorite venue that I've been to so far. It's a nice intimate setting. I don't like it when it's too big. And, right, right. Gotcha. But uh, this this place is great. Oh. So what are your influences? Like what made you get into the music industry? What? I just sort of noticed that I, I really liked music and I kind of had an ear for it. But some of my favorite bands, I guess, uh, I love Broken Social Scene, I love Grizzly Bear, I love uh, Simon and Garfunkel, I'm a big fan of Miles Davis, I'm kind of blue. Um, Fleet Fox is actually, a lot of people mention that they think my album is uh, bears resemblance to, to Fleet Foxes, but I like them a lot, so I'm okay with that. Awesome. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time, Nick. Um, so we're here again. Uh, thank you, and uh, we'll have a good night.